The Fall River got its name from the fall tree, which used to go all along its banks. Its bark is very light and it was much favoured by Maori fishermen for making small rafts and floats. If you draw the path of the river and its streams into a map, it makes the shape of a fall tree, spreading its branches and roots throughout the area. From the 15th or 16th century, Te Fo was governed by twin pa, one at Green Bay and the other at Mokos Bay. Historians think about 200 people would have lived at each fortified pot to protect the area from invaders. Food was plentiful. The locals speared patiki or flounders by torchlight. They caught birds such as sandpipers up on the headlands. The fishermen also explored the river and estuary on hunting expeditions. They canoed home along the Avondale Street called Waitahurangi. They would have carried or slid their canoes to Green Bay along slipways leading south. This is how Ported Road got its name. The first Europeans arrived in the early 1800s. British ship owner William Field Porter settled in Auckland in May 1841. He built a house and store on Auckland's waterfront and he started trading the goods he bought by ship. He then bought land that includes Tirangi, Newland and Kelston from the Maori chiefs, Te Kaiwa and Te Rangi. He paid 50 pounds the cutter or pier, two cloaks, one gold watch, one double barrel pistol, one bag of flour, one bag of sugar, six sheets, six pairs of trousers, five coats and ten blankets. Around 1853, George Tenya and his extended family moved to the hills below Titarangi. He began logging and pit sawing the local Cody, which were then sold for house building in Auckland. By the late 1850s, all the timber had been cut down and the land was slowly turned from bare clay into farms. In August 1905, Albert Crump built a brickworks in Newland. It stood on 73 acres of land the largest brickworks in the Southern Hemisphere. One machine could turn out 100,000 bricks per day. Albert also invented an improved bicycle propelled by levers instead of pedals. Victorian ladies could cycle to Titarangi and back without snagging their long dresses.